Hello students, uh, welcome to Dr. Shodov sir classes. So, as you know that we are solving the questions from UPSC Civil Service Examination, the Mathematics Optional Paper. Okay, so this is paper 1 of 2021. Okay, so in the previous videos we have solved the parts of the question number 1. Now it's uh, next question is question number 2A. So let us see that uh, we have been given it's it's from the uh, geometry part. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's show that the planes uh, which cut the cone a x square plus b y square plus c z square equal to zero in perpendicular generators touch the cone x square by b plus c plus y square by c plus a plus z square plus a plus b equal to zero. So I have to show this this uh, to prove this okay right so uh, let us take that so let the so we have to show the plane so let the planes be okay so let the plane be ux plus vy plus wz equal to 0 okay let us take this x by l equal to y by m equal to z by n be one of the lines okay this is one of the lines in which the plane this plane that is ux plus vy plus wz equal to 0 meets the cone ax square plus by square plus cz square equal to 0 so this meets the then we have this ul plus vm plus wn equal to 0 so this is equation number 1 and then it will be a l square plus b m square plus c n square equal to 0 so that is equation number we are giving it equation number 2 right so if we eliminate n from this equation 1 and 2 then what we will get so we directly write the equation that is a l square plus b m square plus c n square is n have to remove so in place of n we will write c of minus u l plus v m by w this whole square equal to 0 right so now we have to simplify this as you know that so I'm simplifying these steps we so this first step will be this a w square plus c u square l square plus 2 of c u v l m plus b it will be m square plus of c v square whole of m square equal to 0 okay so from here we can simplify this so this will be a w square plus of c u square that is L square by M square plus 2 C U V L by M plus B of that will be W square plus C V square equal to it will be equal to C right 
so if the roots so of this what is equation so if the roots are l1 by m1 and l2 by m2 right so then we have if we write the product of the roots that is it will be l1 l2 by m1 m2 so which will be equal to b w square plus c v square by a w square plus c u square right so we know that by symmetry okay, by symmetry we can write this L1 L2 by B W square plus C V square equal to M1 M2 by A W square plus C U square equal to N1 N2 by A V square plus B U square. So, if all the lines are perpendicular, if this condition is there, this all the lines are perpendicular, then we have this L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2 equal to 0, right? So, from here we can write, so this value of L1, L2, M1, M2 and N1, N2 by symmetry we can write this, so it will be equal to bw square plus cv square plus of cu square plus aw square plus av square plus of b u square equal to 0 or rather simplify it so you will find that it is b plus c u square plus c plus a v square plus a plus b w square equal to c so this we are giving this so it is equation number three okay. this is equation number three now see that so the direction cosines of the normal to the plane ux plus vy plus wz equal to 0. So, direction quotient of the normal to the to this plane are u, v and w and if this plane touches the given cone then we will have this a u square plus b v square plus c w square plus of 2 f v w plus 2 g w u plus 2 h of u v which is equal to 0. So, this is equation number 4. Right. So, here we can write that here you can see that A is equal to BC minus F square which is nothing but 1 by C plus A, A plus B. So similarly for B we have this CA minus D square. So here we have 1 by A plus B, C plus B and for c similarly we have this 1 by b plus c c plus a, right so now here you can see that f will be 0 g is equal to 0 and h is equal to 0 because here from the given cone you can find that so a is equal to 1 by b plus c B is equal to 1 by C plus A 
and c is equal to 1 by a plus b right so for this f g h is equal to 0 from this condition so from 4 so from this equation for the required condition is so if we put the value of a b c over there and remaining values are 0 so it will be 1 by a plus b c plus a u square plus 1 by a plus b c plus b v square plus of 1 upon 1 plus this uh, b plus c c plus a w square equal to 0 okay. right so here it will be after simplifying this we will find that so if we simplify this we will find that it will be b plus c u square sorry it will be u square b plus c u square plus c plus a v square plus a plus b w square by So this is in the denominator it will be a plus b b plus c c plus a which is equal to zero so from here we can simply do one thing that it will be ultimately equal to zero so we can write so this so this is equal to zero right right so we can write this is equal to zero so now if we check with this equation three so this equation three and this is the same so this is same as equation so which is the required condition okay okay so which is the required condition so we can find this so this is equation this uh, so this is question number 2a so next we will next video we will see this next question next part of question 2 question 2b